WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. Let's take a look at where we ended today. Well, we have the ES Mini currently trading about 0.16% to the downside. Uh, Russell down almost a full percent. Uh, the Dow Futures trading up 0.26%. All right, we have the gold contract trading at 2054 and 30 cents. Of course, if you just missed my uh, interview with Tim Orr, please go check that out because the whole thing uh, was focusing on where's gold going. Uh, and it was extremely fascinating and insightful. It always is, but this one particular, I think, was, was really nice. Our guy Copper trading $3.91 on the contract. Would love to see that going up to $4 here at some time soon. Tesla, we are down 191.67. Steel Dynamics finishing up about 4.8% today at 122.45. Okay, today's actually quite a consequential day for the market, all right? Let's... <laughs> You have basically uh, an economy right now, or excuse me, a market right now being run by a handful of companies, okay? Amazon, Apple, Google, Meta, NVIDIA, so on and so forth, okay? Tesla had very poor earnings. This week, we are expecting Apple, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and Meta to report their quarterly earnings. That's pretty heavy. Uh, these small, the, you know, the Magnificent Seven, whatever you want to call them, uh, are, are driving this growth. And, and the amount that they contribute, uh, you know, revenue-wise is, is so much greater than everything else. On top of that, we also have the Fed meeting tomorrow. So there's a lot going on in this market that's going to determine, you know, where we're going to go from here. And I think that's actually pretty, pretty unique, uh, to say the least. Uh, of course, we were talking a little bit about Pfizer. They did pretty well. Uh, even considering that there are uh, less jabs going around. Uh, a little bit of short news. Elon Musk said the first human has received an implant from Neuralink, which is pretty interesting. Now, we don't really get exposure to this uh, in Tesla directly in any way, but I still think it's pretty interesting because this guy, uh, you know, is in a lot of ways uh, at least attempting to push society forward and has done so with SpaceX and, and Tesla as well. Uh, this Neuralink is essentially uh, a mesh that they're laying over people's brains, right? You know, we have many different, about three major layers of the brain, right? With the neocortex is the most recent one that we have. And, and now we're going to have this brain mesh. So let's see where it goes. Folks, thank you so much for joining me today. I believe Tom O'Brien uh, will be back tomorrow. I hope you have a phenomenal rest of your Tuesday and we will see you Wednesday.